Good afternoon and welcome to the FA Cup quarter final. We're going to Ewood Park in just a moment for an away match against Blackburn, the East Lancashire Derby for a place at Wembley in the FA Cup semi finals. Already guaranteed a Wembley place in the semis is Manchester United having 1 2 1 at Hull. QPR and Aston Villa have to replay at Villa Park for their for the, for the right to play this, um, in, their, in the semi finals. Uh, Man City and Newcastle kick off later, but it's to turn, but it's to Ewood Park we go for the FA Cup. In my opinion, the tie of the round as we go over to Ewood Park and face the old enemy Blackburn Rovers in their own backyard for a place in the FA Cup semi-final at Wembley. Let's get over down the M65 to the enemy ground where I'm ready and waiting high up in the commentary box to bring you the, young, the, the uh, all the action from the. Uh, from um, uh, for this latest instalment of East Lancashire, for the, for the bit of rivalry that is the East Lancashire Derby, and what's more important, it's also a cup tie as well. Let's get over to Ewood Park, where I'm ready, ready to bring you all the team news. Good afternoon from Ewood Park. Uh, Burnley have travelled the 10 miles up the M across from the M65 west to face the, the, the deadly enemies here at uh, Ewood Park. The 5,500 uh, Burnley fans have travelled the short distance to face the old enemy Blackburn Rovers. So we'll have a run through the teams in a moment or two. But these two rivals now last played in the F I've played um, many good cup games beforehand and of course they played twice in 2005 but we'll talk about that as we go along this afternoon before the start but first of all I think it's about time we had a check on the two teams for this but in my opinion the tie of the round Blackburn first, Button, Henley, Duffy, Hanley, Spur Conway, Lowe, Akpan, Marshall and Rose and Alfonso up front that's their 11. For Burnley, it's the same 11 that lost 2-0 at Newcastle. Heaton, Flanagan, Dyer, Dan and Ibe. Balassi, Hughes, Bent 11, Redmond and Andre Gray and Danny Ings up front. With some folks on the Suds bench if needed. Well, these cup corner finals really never cease to amaze one. Last time these two played in a, an FA Cup tie referee today Martin Atkinson from West Yorkshire <laughs> and he take a Yorkshireman taking charge of a Lancashire derby so it's Burnley together's away Claret and Blue and Burnley Blackburn of course in the blue and white halves the last time these two played each other in the FA Cup it was a nil-nil drawing the first match at uh, Turf Moor it was a fifth round match in 2005 nil-nil in the first game at Turf Moor and then Burnley were very unlucky to lose to Blackburn at Ewood Park but it was always remembered from a Burnley point of view for a goal scored here by Micah Hyde. It's Jordan Ive goes forward and an early run! And shoots wide of David Button's far post, but a good start already on the Clarets. Showing their early intent here. There's the shot. Button was happy enough to let it go, but I'm not sure he was confident. 6,000 Clarets have made the journey along the motorway here. Just the eight miles to separate these two towns as Hughes tries the shot and Button didn't really hold it. And Duffy heads it away before Gray could get in there. Good purposeful start from Burnley. Who have been drawn away in every round so far of this season's FA Cup. Of course sponsored by the airline Emirates. Well, Burnley corner, I'm with it. Button with a fist. Things might try and volley this one. He did it against the crossbar. Oh, he did so well, and the finish and the, the shot was excellent, and it came off the crossbar. Bentaleb, go kick. That's the last. That was the later effort, but I think we should have shown the Ink shot again. In fact, he's got a deflection, so more pressure to be 
Put on goalkeeper David Button and his Blackburn defence. The Clarets go searching for this opening goal that will silence a lot of people here around here with Park and they've got it! And it's Pentelab who jogs towards the Burnley fans with sheer delight. And six and a half thousand Clarets go ballistic and Burnley take the lead in the Leeds Lancashire Derby. And it's a lead they've richly deserved. A brilliant diving header by the penalty spot. And Nabil Bentaleb gives the Red Hot favourites the lead. The Premier League leaders lead the championship rivals by a goal to nil. The deadly rivals by a goal to nil. They are going for the double, a Bleeding Cup. And have taken a good step there. 13 minutes, it could be lucky for Burnley here. 1-0 and Bentaleb will just brought his name into East Lancashire Derby Fork though if he if that ends up being the winning goal but here's Akpran danger here oh Defonso almost getting in there he's an ex of course and he's smuggled behind for a corner can't wait to take it Burnley have to be on defensive metal here with 17 minutes of the game gone and the shot coming in over the top from Marshall. And Burnley can brave a huge sigh of relief. Tom Heaton was confident that was going over the top. Remember, this is not just about bragging rights. It's about a semi-final place at the National Stadium. Blackburn have never reached the Wembley before since it's been rebuilt. Burnley have visited once, that was back in 2009 when they got the promotion back to the Premier League after 33 years. Here's Hughes, that's a good ball, played in towards Gray, but not the line. Offside given against Jordan Rose. Well, for typical East Lancashire Derby, we've got typical East Lancashire weather now. The rain pouring down in droves. Here's Balassi. Running past the defender who made no attempt to even try and challenge him. And Button got it away. Comes out to Bentaleb. Oh, I thought that had gone in. I was expecting the net to ripple there from Nabil Bentaleb. He struck it ever so sweetly. Goalkeeper wasn't moving. Oh, it just curled wide. It swerved just at the last second. So unlucky. Buttons kick. Rhodes touches it on to Delfonso. Danger here for Burnley. Still Delfonso, the former Claret. Former Claret striker and Aston Villa youngster as well. Chips it in. Eating deciding strangely enough to go for a punch. It's actually turned out very good here because Ings has turned Tommy Spur. And he's got Gray running through the middle. And it's Andre Gray. He's got Ings to over to the far side. And Danny Ings is onside here. He could make it two when he's missed it. Oh, Burnley should be out of sight by now. Danny Ings, what a chance. Big chance. Inside the last 10 minutes of the East Lancashire Derby. The 105th edition of this fierce rivalry. Burnley did the double over Blackburn last season. When they won promotion back to the Premier League. And Rose is in there. Good chance for Blackburn, but Burnley survive. Dan. Yannick Bellassi. Blackburn have not even hit the target at all. That's a bad ball though. And low now could pop it. And now Delfonso. And now Rose. And another let off for the Clarets. And they survive again. Jordan Rose. Well, normally he puts them away for breakfast. But thankfully he missed that time. Dan, I'm good ball 
but it's cut out by Duffy. Burnley you now just having a little worrying defensive spell there because oh Jordan I was a little overzealous on Delfonso there but here's Hughes he'll carry the ball on Gray's and things are either side of him it's gone towards Gray here Andre Gray good save and Hanley gets it out and Mr Atkinson blows for half time so Burnley in the lead a goal from Bentai, but superb diving header. He could have made it two towards half time, but Burnley deserved their lead at half time at Ewood Park by a goal to nil. Welcome back to Ewood Park, where Burnley deservedly have the lead. Could have been two up. Bentai have a shot, had just curled the other side, the other side. It would have been. 2-0 but they are one up here and they're playing against the Blackburn side who are devoid of any confidence or ideas at the moment just to remind everybody if it does Barker by quick end of draw then we will have a replay at Turf Moor which was stage his first cup tie of the season but Delfonso looking to get forward here Akpan was touched there Marshall playing it in but Jordan and I can Billy knock it back to his goalkeeper Heaton. That's a cool it's a cool ball to play out. Hughes just bides his time. Bentele, that's not where he was intending it. Wanigan did well. Handler though intercepts. Low. Conway. A tackle by Wedman. They had to time it well. The former Birmingham youngster signed for course from Norwich City. Danny Guthrie. We put himself back. Pran. As Blackburn want to get themselves back in this FA Cup quarter final. Rolls beaten to it by Flanagan. Had a good match, Flanagan. Bento has shown too much of it there to Guthrie. And here's Rhodes. And the shot just going wide and Burnley surviving all the while. Now two centre backs, Dunn and Dyer holding firm as that shot came in. It went behind for the goal kick and that's all that mattered. Burnley holding on to that precious lead. Here's Danny Ings. And he's got away from one. And he's got away from two. It's just the keep of the big. And he's beaten him! 2-0 and Burnley have one foot there Sarri, in the semi-finals we're going back to Wembley surely and our big rivals can't come back from this now that's surely Barry Blackburn good and proper and you know what Burnley have deserved it no doubt about it that's frustration coming out from two defeats to Manchester United and Newcastle respectively which has suddenly opened the lead back up and Burnley wanted to prove to a point in this 104th edition of the East Lancs Derby they've done just that 2-0 and deservedly so fantastic performance Marshall Henley Rose is onside, but Hughes intercepts. That was good play, but then he gives it away, but then gets it back again. And Turf Moor now, 5,000 supporters roaring them on, and Higgs is onside. This could really wrap it up now. Button saves. Blackburn, for the time being, hang on in the cup. But here's Button playing Russian roulette there, but then kicking the ball out into the into the main stand now Ings spur for the spur for Blackburn 2-0 down deservedly so they haven't really offered too much as an, as an attacking force Henley onto Marshall Burnley determined now to keep this clean sheet they firmly deserve Del Alfonso playing it in he turned with the claim now it's Hughes but now Evans takes possession Goffrey Marshall Desperate defending here from Burnley. 
and they defend it well Forrester comes on for the ineffective Delfonso who's had a poor match really mind you so Blackburn really Burnley have just been too good in the attacking department and here is Bentaleb running at defenders he's still going Neville Bentaleb to Sanalex yes Burnley go to Wembley and deservedly so six and a half thousand carats no they're there now with eight minutes to go a beautiful solo run and my Nabil Bantaleb has now written his name good and proper over this cup tie and into Clarence Forklow 3 now. and you know what they thoroughly deserve it Burnley are going to Wembley the right team are winning Blackburn they've often buffed but have not offered very have offered very little from their point of view and you can see why they're managerless they just don't have a clue what to do or where to go Burnley on the other hand have got a very subtle manager who's been successful for them and that's how it's just shown in the end class is permanent and Burnley have that class here's the corner ah oh, well as he did well here's Bentaleb Ings look at Gray making a run and he's onside Gray touch back Danny Ings onside this would really wrap, wrap it up oh well in the end it's into the it's into the stand for a goal kick but what he does do just missed the just shaved the crossbar in fact but what he does do now is just just see he's just seen the game out now Burnley are there at Wembley all it needs to be is be rubber stamped by the final whistle from Mr Atkinson the referee and then the celebrations can truly begin here's Gray still deep into stoppage time still Gray still Gray off the line should have been 4-0 but it doesn't matter because Burnley have made it they have knocked out their great rivals, their East Lancashire rivals, Blackburn, deservedly so, by three goals to nil. That man there in your picture, Bentaleb, got two of the goals and two beautifully taken ones as well. Danny Ings got the other one and Burnley now will join Manchester United for sure in the semi-final draw. Final score then and a, well, mostly three quarters Silent Ewood Park and the noise coming from six and a half thousand Burnley fans. The final score, Burnley win 3-0. Well that is a fantastic performance. And do you know what? With that with that win, we are in the semi-finals. We're going back to Wembley again at our main rival's expense. How good is that? How good is that? It's just it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable so we're in the semi-finals we don't know for sure until the replay is played so until then we don't know for sure but what we do know is that we're going to sim the next game and that's against Middlesbrough squad is picked for that one well, let's see how we go on against Middlesbrough and we've won two nilings with two but another problem now we've lost Eric Dyer, uh, Eric Dyer now the injuries are starting to pile up which is not great really if I'm being honest broken collarbone he's out for the season now this is not good not good at all and I don't want to be a defeatist here Tommy Smith can come back straight in uh, no problem at all he gets his place back but now we've lost We've lost Dyer, we've lost Gale, we've lost Barton, we've lost Ali Alavich. We're losing a lot of players at the moment and it's not looking too good at the moment, unfortunately. It's not, It's not. as I say, it's not ideal. Um, we can't sign any more else. It's so disappointing. But then again, did we say this season was going to be easy? Not really. 
Uh, we'll seem this. We'll seem these next two games and plus the internationals that are coming now up as well. And some big rearrangements there. We'll also find out what happened in the FA Cup as well. We've lost to Swansea there, 2-1. Ayo and Sigurdsson got the winning goals there. And Scott Dan has picked up a slight knock. Let's hope that's not serious. The last thing we need is another is another injury. And uh, it's only seven days. But the good news is that we got an international break, so he'll be back for that. So let's, before we leave... Oh, we've lost Joe Hart, so it means now we've got to... It means we've got to... Get uh, a goalkeeper in. We'll get our own Tom Eaton in goals, and then we've got the Scott Dan in shoe as well. Get that sorted out as well. So we need a new centre back then. That's a blow for us, really. Um, it means he can recover at uh, Turf Moor. Um, we'll get Ryan Shawcross back in now. So we've called up two new players. Um, we'll also check the league tables as well because we've had some things so we're playing Austria in the first of two World Cup qualifiers see how we get on there Tom Eaton's in goal now he's got an injury oh this gets better doesn't it the injuries are piling up let's see what's happened here two months so it means we've got to we've got to play Jed Steer in goals for the next two months uh, he did a cruciate collateral ligament. This gets better and better, doesn't it? I'm injured on international duty. That is just so unfair, really. So Fraser Forster takes um, Beaton's place, and we draw 2-2 with Ireland. Jones got sent off, but it means now we've got to play a young rookie goalkeeper in Jed Steer now, and this is going to be so hard now. From now to the end of the season. It's going to be Jed steering goals now. And it's going to be so goddamn hard. Um, so we've now got to go for it now. Um, I can also give you the semi-final draw. So it means we've lost Tom Heaton. And uh, that, is, that is so that's such cruel luck is that. It gives Jed Steer an opportunity now. We haven't even got a backup goalkeeper. If still, if, if um, so, it means now we we are really struggling for bodies right now, and it's so frustrating. So our captain is out. But what we're going to do, we're not going to give it to Tommy Smith. We're going to give it Danny Ings now. I want to give it to someone who is deserving of it. Danny Ings is the man that we're going to give it to. And uh, Ings, you can take over the captaincy. To me, he's the vice captain, and uh, that's the way it's going to stay from now on in. Um, that brings us to the end of our thing. But before we do, we had a job offer from Tottenham. Fantastic, fantastic opportunity if I wanted it, but I didn't, uh, so I rejected it. As regards that, that was just a monthly squad report press conferences now we have four players compensations it's so frustrating now because these lads are actually some of the lads are actually playing now Jed Steer is going to get a real opportunity now to play in goal um, now as regards the league table let's just remind you of that now 71 points so the gap now is three points so we've got eight games to go uh, seven games to go rather plenty of points up for grabs We've got Sunday underway next. We've got to take all these games seriously. And hopefully we'll do the business there. And finally, before we leave you, the draw for the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Both games, of course, to be played at Wembley. 
Um, the replay is quickly. Villa 3, QPR 0. And Newcastle 1, Manchester City 2. And the semi-finals, Villa against United. And we've got to play Manchester City the next day. So that ends the episode. Keep subscribing because it's going to be quite a heavy end to the season now with all my key, most of my key players out and now my goalkeeper captain going down with an injury. It's not great at the moment. But as I say, keep subscribing and liking. I hope you're enjoying all the videos and we'll see you for the Sunderland game very, very soon. Bye-bye.